Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. My name is Sahil, I'm a death metal musician and I'm also the author of the recipe book called Keto Life, out now worldwide. So who doesn't love eggs? Actually you know what, don't answer that. But for those of you who do love eggs, there's no reason for us to eat the same old sunny side up and scrambled eggs every day. Sometimes it's good to jazz things up. So we are going to be cooking up a delicious keto spinach and feta omelet. It's perfect for breakfast or you know what maybe you skip breakfast like I do because you're intermittent fasting. It's a great meal whether you have it for lunch, dinner or breakfast or even a snack. But anyway enough jibber jabber let's go and make that keto spinach and feta omelet. So to make our omelette, I'm going to start by cracking three whole eggs into a bowl. Anyway, once I've cracked those eggs in the bowl, I'm going to add in some heavy whipping cream. About a tablespoon will do. I'm going to season the eggs now with some salt, some black pepper and some dried oregano. And as always, you can use any herbs that you like. And then I'm just going to beat it. Just beat it. And I'm going to beat them like they really deserve to be beaten. Anyway, beat those eggs and then set them aside. Now I'm going to get my non-stick pan on the stove and I'm going to add three rashers of bacon. And you're just going to cook the bacon till it's done to your liking. In my case, that's nice and crispy. And as always, we start the bacon on a cold pan so that the fat will render out. And I have to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, I originally did not intend to add bacon to this recipe but since I had some bacon at home which I needed to use up and the fact that I like to cook with bacon fat this made perfect sense but the bacon in this recipe is completely optional so if you don't want to use bacon just skip it completely and you can start directly with some avocado oil or some coconut oil or any keto approved oil in the pan Anyway, once the bacon has been cooked to your liking, remove it from the pan, put it on a paper towel and just dab all that excess grease off it. And once the bacon has cooled down, chop it up into small pieces. Now you can see there's a good amount of bacon fat in the pan. So I'm going to put it back on the stove on a medium high heat. And then I'm going to add in some baby spinach. Now don't worry if it looks like a lot of spinach ladies and gentlemen because it will wilt down and it will become like a really small amount. So anyway I'm using about 100 grams of baby spinach and I'm going to season it with some salt and some pepper. And then I'm just going to give it a good mix and let that spinach wilt down. And as I mentioned the bacon was optional so if you are skipping the bacon you would start directly with some avocado oil in the pan and put the spinach directly into that. Anyway as the spinach is starting to wilt down I'm going to add a nice big knob of butter and I'm going to turn the heat down to low and you're going to give it all a good mix now. So after you've mixed it we're going to now pour in the beaten eggs. Pour it around your pan and then you just want to kind of give everything a little bit of a mix so that the egg reaches the bottom of the pan on all spots. And now you're just going to let this cook on a really low heat. I'm also going to add in my feta cheese at this point and I'm just going to crumble it across the omelette. And once again you can use as much or as little feta as you like. In fact you can even use cheddar cheese if you don't like feta. You can use goat's cheese, you can use gouda. It's completely up to you. And I'm also going to throw in that chopped bacon because well, why not, you know. So I guess this is more than just a spinach and feta omelette. It's a bacon spinach and feta omelette. Anyway, now I'm just going to cover it with the lid and let it cook for about 3 to 4 minutes. And of course, I'm just going to take a sneak peek to make sure it's cooking properly and nothing is burning. And after about 4 minutes, I think my egg is ready. I'm going to use my spatula to help release the omelette from the sides. And I'm actually going to finish it with a little bit of red chili flakes. Just for a little bit of heat. And then just put it on your plate and your spinach and feta omelette is ready. And it looks pretty good if you ask me. A great way to start your day. 
ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed that recipe and if you did please hit the thumbs up button on this video and do subscribe to headbangers kitchen for more awesome keto recipes and make sure you hit the bell icon as well so you get notified when i upload a new video anyway i will be back sooner rather than later with more keto recipes make sure you check out my keto for beginners series by clicking here on the i button it's a full keto meal plan just for you anyway enough jibber jabber cheers and keep cooking hey folks if you bought a copy of my book keto life thank you and i would be super grateful if you could leave a review and a rating on amazon or whichever website you purchase the book from i would greatly appreciate it so thank you thank you once again for buying my book thank you for leaving a review and rating it and uh, yeah i'll see you on the next episode you can click here and watch another video or click here and listen to some of my music